I'm going to show you the best way to get rich from salvaging in Star Citizen. But first, where do you go to find salvage? Well, one way is through PvE. You can do this via bounties, combat beacons, or illegal surveillance missions. Although the problem with that is if you neutralize an enemy with laser or ballistic weapons, most of the hull will be destroyed, leaving you with only small scraps to salvage. Now you can get around that by disabling them using distortion weapons, but then you run into a new problem. Once you disable the ship, Instead of stopping, they just drift and spin away at high speeds, making it difficult to salvage. And the distortion effect only lasts 5 minutes. So the only way to do PvE with distortion weapons and salvage afterwards is to do VLRT bounties on moons. But thankfully, CIG lets you salvage without having to fight. There are plenty of scraps and derelict ships you can salvage at every Lagrange point and asteroid field in Stanton. But where is the best place to salvage? Well, according to SC Trade Tools, the best place to find salvage is the yellow asteroid belt. But how do you find it? When you ping, a bunch of cubes will pop up. Scan those cubes for R signatures. Salvageable scraps have R signatures of 2000, with multiples of 2000 being a cluster of scraps. Abandoned ships have other signatures in addition to R signatures. Ships like the Starlifter and the 890 Jump are so big that they'll automatically show up when they're in range. Once you've found them, just start salvaging and get that free money. But that's assuming you find them, which will take time. But there's a way which by and far is better than everything I just mentioned. It's consistent, reliable, you can QT to it, and there's loads of salvage. I'm talking about Reclaimer Derelicts, specifically the Black Kite Derelict in Microtech. You can also do this with the Pride of Arliss Derelict at Arc Corp, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to focus on Black Kite because it pays more money. To start, you need to accept the Seize the Data mission. If you want to know how to do this mission, I made a video that will show you how to do it quickly, which you can watch after this video. Before you go out and do the mission, it's important to stock up on some food because salvaging is going to take a while. You can stock up on some food and drinks from the cargo center in Port Tressler. Once you've done the main part of the mission, you will be asked to destroy the ship. Instead of destroying the ship, just turn it off, leave the reclaimer, and get into your salvage ship and start salvaging. An enemy ship will show up once you start salvaging. Fortunately, it's a small ship that you can easily deal with. Here's a fun tip. If you unlock the ship ports of the Reclaimer, you can take the salvage heads and attach it to your Vulture. That way, you get the Trawler module for free. Another cool tip is hitting Alt right click will change the orientation of the beams. To maximize the surface area of your salvage beams, with the Abrade, set the separation to 0.3 meters. If you're using the Trawler, set it to 0.5 meters. When the filler station is ejecting, stop salvaging and don't start until the capacity says 0 out of 1 SCU. Otherwise, you'll be losing valuable salvage. But which salvage module should you use? Well, the cinch module gives you the most SCU, but it's also the slowest, so not worth using. The abrade is the most popular, but is it better than the trawler? Well, let's find out. Here's how much the trawler scraped after 2 SCUs of salvage, and here's how much the abrade scraped after 2 SCUs of salvage. So it seems like it's almost the same, and given that they extract at the same rate, it kinda doesn't matter. It really depends on what part of the ship you are salvaging. There are parts of the Reclaimer that seemingly have infinite materials, but I think that's a UI bug. There's also the weird issue of not getting any salvage when scraping the front of the ship. But I don't know if it's a bug with that specific ship I was scraping. Even though the official capacity of the Vulture is 12 SCU, I find you can fit up to 26 SCUs of salvage in the cargo area. Although it's better to stop at 24, because it's not worth the extra time spent shuffling boxes around for the extra 2 STUs. For me, it took a little over an hour to scrape 24 STUs of salvage, which includes running back and forth to move the boxes. Once you're full, just fly back to Microtech and sell your cargo. Then travel back to Reclaimer and salvage again. But all this back and forth travel seems inefficient. So here's a better way. Assuming you're not salvaging with Reclaimer, get a cargo ship. The bigger, the better. The biggest one you can get for cheap is the Andromeda with 96 SUs of capacity. But any big cargo ship is fine, except the Raft. Fly your Vulture to the Reclaimer location, and assuming you set your spawn at Tressler, kill yourself, and if you want, make it look like an accident. Then at Tressler, get your cargo ship and travel to the Reclaimer. From there, do the mission as normal, then start salvaging. Here's what it looks like after scraping 26 SU. By the looks of it, I estimate I scraped around 20% of the hull. So extrapolating from that, 
I'm guessing that you can get around 130 SCUs worth of salvage from scraping the whole ship. That's over 1 million AOM. But the Andromeda only has 96 SCUs of capacity. But I'm pretty sure you can find some extra space to store the excess salvage. And it's gonna take at least 6 hours of not just salvaging, but also moving the cargo to your cargo ship. So understandable if you don't want to salvage the whole thing. Once you're done salvaging, destroy the ship and get that 50k. Then go back to New Babbage and sell your cargo. And if you want to retrieve your vulture, hopefully the death marker will still be there for you to retrieve it. If you made this far into the video, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you found this video helpful, then hit that like button, subscribe and ring that bell. In the meantime, if you want to know how to do the seize the data mission quickly so you can start salvaging, I highly recommend you watch this video right here.